Dons, welcome back to CCTV. We hope you're having a great week and are ready for the weekend. It couldn't come soon enough for me. You know what else couldn't come soon enough? The China Genius Program? Yep. Hello Dons, I'm here with Mr. Calkins and Mike Dunn to learn more about China Genius. So Mr. Calkins, what is China Genius? Well, one of my responsibilities and one of my passions here at Cathedral is to provide opportunities for students to learn about the world uh, beyond Carmel Valley, beyond San Diego, beyond California, even beyond the continental United States. And so in developing this idea, I was fortunate to meet Mr. Dunn. We share an interest in this uh, global kind of education. And uh, Mr. Dunn has a lot of experience with uh, China. Uh, uh, he's the resident expert and is going to help us um, talk more about these China Genius workshops. Thank you. Welcome. What was your idea for China Genius? Right. Well, like you, I was once a high school student at a Catholic school in Michigan. And at that time, my teacher taught a class called Asia Emerges. And it was really exciting. He talked about China, Japan, Korea. And I couldn't wait to finish school, go to school, graduate, and go to China for the first time. Well, I thought, we don't need to wait anymore. We can bring China right here to school here at Cathedral Catholic. We can How can students get involved with China Genius? Yeah, they can just show up uh, on the 26th. Uh, it'll be in the lecture hall in uh, a CC. Uh, from 1.45 to 2.30. Uh, we'll have food uh, there. You can come in and have some Chinese food. Uh, music. Uh, you can have an experience of, of Chinese music. Uh, and also, if you're interested, you can take these China Genius Workshops as pass-fail courses, which will appear on your Cathedral Catholic transcript, which will look really impressive to the colleges that uh, you'll be applying to uh, in the future. We're excited to see where this takes our community. Now let's see what else is going on here at Cathedral. Make sure you come out for the last day of Club Week at lunch today. There's all sorts of cool new and returning clubs this year. September is National Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month, so come out today at lunch to support Bryson Newman and his friends and buy a t-shirt in front of the attendance office. Please show CCHS pride and help cure this disease. Hey Cameron, do you remember your freshman retreat? Of course I do. It was really cool. This year's freshman retreat is right around the corner. Let's hear more about that from our field report team. Hey Dons, it's Alexis Friedman. Freshmen, are you curious about your freshman retreat? Let's talk to Mr. Grammy and Ms. Lopez to learn more information. So what is freshman retreat? Uh, freshman retreat is a time for the class to get together and uh, get to know each other better, but also learn about God. What should freshmen expect at retreat? Freshmen should expect to have a great time to get closer with their classmates, um, learn a little bit more about our class theme, and just have a great day. What should freshmen bring to retreat? Freshmen don't need to bring anything. Uh, lunch will be provided. They just need to be uh, dressed in spirit dress or in the homecoming spirit dress. And how can freshmen find out about their group leader? Freshmen should have received an email from their um, senior campus minister, small group leaders, about what group they're in and where to meet them. Um, freshmen will meet or check in with their Red One class and then head out to the quad right after um, prayer and pledge and meet up with their small group leaders. If you don't know who your small group leader is, then just email me or Mr. Grammy. Hey Dons, I'm here with Francesca and Matt, the leaders of Los Locos. So Francesca, can you tell us what Los Locos is? Yeah, so Los Locos is actually our spirit section here at Cathedral, and it's ran by Matt and I, along with a couple of other seniors that help us out. And we go to all the football games and all the sporting events we can, and just go and support our fellow Dons. So Matt, how can students get involved? Yeah, dude, students can get involved just by showing up to the games, getting super hyped, going crazy, and having a lot of fun. And then the theme for this upcoming game is USA, so everyone go, out for, go all out for that. And then uh, follow us on Twitter at CCHS Los Locos. And what should students know about the rally next Friday? So the rally next Friday is going to be a ton of fun and Matt and I will actually be out there teaching some chants so make sure to listen in and also ASB will be releasing class colors so make sure you are wearing the correct color for your class. Awesome! Thanks guys! Hope to see you all out there on Friday. <laughs> Thanks guys! This rally is going to be awesome. Let's get into some more campus news. There's a sophomore event tomorrow so class of 2019 make sure you take advantage of this opportunity. Tonight is the Red and Gold Taste of the Dawns event at 5 p.m. It's a fun excursion for the whole family. For more information, check out the CCHS homepage. And today is the last day to register for the October ACT. 
And seniors, this might be your last chance. On that note, next Thursday at 6.30 p.m. is a Senior Parent College and Financial Aid Night. The event will be held in the Guadalupe Center. Happy Friday, Dons, and welcome to this week's sports report. First up is your Dons football team. The boys dominated in their game against Westview last Friday with a winning score of 34-0. Make sure you wear red, white, and blue tonight as the team takes on Helix at 7 on our home field. Next is girls golf. The girls won their match against Scripps Ranch this week with a score of a 194. Jackie Garcia and Monica Yu both shot one over par and played big roles in the Dons victory. Boys Beach Volleyball has also been working hard and are looking forward to a great season. Chris Cassini met with James Semino and Mike Madden to learn more. And hey Dons, I'm here with James Semino and Mike Madden at Boys Varsity Beach Volleyball. So James, what's the season been like after losing 12 seniors last year? Well, you know, Chris has been tough because uh, we lost a lot of good players, but got another lot of new freshmen and sophomores coming in. Jimmy McLaughlin and Chaz Galloway are some big players, so it's going to be a good season. What's the transition been like from your past coaching staff to your new coaches? Uh, not too bad, because uh, our assistant coach last year is now our head coach. But we got a new addition, uh, Derek Olson over here. You probably don't know what he's a, he's a decent coach. What have you been working on in your practice? Well, like a lot of ball control stuff and uh, just some setting and passing and just uh, the fundamentals so we can get our little things down so we can win games. Thanks, guys, and good luck in your season. Thanks, Chris. The girls and boys cross-country team competed at the Bronco Roundup in Kit Carson Park last Saturday. The boys finished third place, and the girls finished second in Division I. Next is girls field hockey. The girls are undefeated this season and beat Sage Creek on Tuesday. Goals from Lindsay Biscup, Francesca Federico, Mary Henderson, Daphne Tenuto, and Ashley Schaefer helped the Dons win by five. Marcella talked to members of the team to find out how they've been successful this season. Hi Dons, I'm here with Kate, Lindsay, and Francesca from your varsity girls field hockey team. Francesca, you've won all of your games so far. How does the season look like it's going to be? Um, our season looks pretty good. We only have four new players, so we've all been playing together for at least two years now. So that leaves us with really good chemistry on and off the field. Lindsay, I've heard that you've gotten a new coach. How is it? Um, our new coach, Coach Imada, she was she is a former uh, coach from UC Davis, so she has a lot of knowledge of the game, and she's really fun, <clears throat> and everyone loves her, so it's, it's cool. And Kate, what makes the team so awesome this year? Well, we have a ton of standouts, especially Lindsay Biscup and Rachel, Rachel Brink, who were put on the players to watch list, and Daphne Tenuto, who also got on the player of the game last game against Del Norte, and then also shout out to Ashley Schaefer and Bella Matera. Thanks, guys. Back to you in the anchor room. Thanks, Marcella. Good luck to all of our sports teams competing this weekend. Thanks for listening to this week's sports report, and I hope you have an awesome weekend, Dons. I'm Brennan Wilhite, and now back to Cameron and Nicole. Thanks, Brennan. It's always exciting to see what's going on with all of our amazing sports teams. Thanks for tuning in to CCTV this week. We'll see you next Friday. That's a wrap, Dons.